Hello friends, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Carol. In the previous lecture, we learned in detail that what is production function and what is Cobb Douglas production function. So, here we are going to learn that how to determine whether returns to scale are a decreasing constant or increasing using production function. We numerically solve each and every production function in order to determine the returns to scale. Here, the question is that for each of following production function determine whether returns to scale are decreasing constant or increasing here are some production functions. Number 1 production function is q is equal to 2k plus 3l plus kl. Second production function is q is equal to 20k 0.5 power l 0.5. And this is the third production function fourth. This is the fourth production function state that quantity is 5k alpha l beta where alpha plus beta is equal 1.2. So, the fifth production function is this q is equal to k over l and 6 q is equal minimum 2 l 3 k. So, we have to determine numerically that whether these production function are increasing constant or diminishing returns. Uh, taking the first production function that q is equal to 2 k plus 3 l plus k l. We are using a simple method that we can take any input combination. Suppose, we are taking the input k and l with two units, signal production function is 2 k 3 l plus k l. Now, by plugging the value in k and l which we have selected two input units. So, 2 into 2 t 2 and 2 into 2 the by solving it we shall have q naught. Q naught means the original production function. So, the total output after solving will be 14 units. So, this is our original production function that has 14 units by doubling the input combination and the new production function would be q 1, q 1 is equal to k plus 3 l plus k l that would be equals to 2 into 4. Here we are putting the k value and l input 4 because that we have doubled the input from 2 to 4. So, by adding that input the total output will be q 1 is equal to 36. It means if we had double the input, we have got the output that is more than double. So, we can say that output is more than 2 times. So, this is an increasing returns to scale. The second production function is like 20 k raised to power 0.5 L 0.5, whether it is increasing, decreasing, or constant. So, likewise, we can take any input combination. Here, suppose we take amount of input k and l with one unit. By plugging the value of k and l 1 in the equation, we have the q naught. This is the production function 21 0.51 instead of l and k, we have added the value of input 1. So, the after solving it, we have the total output is 20 units. By doubling the input combination, by plugging the doubled input in the production function, our production function will be like this. So, the total output is 40. So, the by doubling the input, we get the output doubled. It means the output has increased from 20 to 40 units. So, this is a constant returns to scale. So, now we are using the third production function like that 100 plus 3k plus 2l. So, we have to determine increasing, decreasing or constant return like this. So, we can take any input here also. Suppose, we are taking 4 units of labor and 4 units of capital. So, by plugging the value of capital and labor like 4 in the equation. So, the equation would be like this after plugging the value of input. After solving it, the total output is 120 units. So, if we double the input initially the input was 4 we have selected now we have doubled the input that is 8. So, we are taking 8 units of labor and 8 units of capital after solving it that the q 1 is equal 100 plus 24 plus 16. So, the total output is 140. So, it means after doubling the input we have got the output less than double. So, it means by doubling the input we get the output less than double. 
that is only from 120 units to 140 units so decreasing returns to scale and other function is q is equal to 5 k alpha l beta where alpha plus beta is equal to 1.2 it means the elasticity of labor and capital that is 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 that is also equals to 1.2 so we are solving this problem by taking two different elasticity for labor and capital suppose here we take amount of input capital and labor is 6 units by plugging the value of capital and labor 6 units in the equation the equation will be like this the power is 0 0.6 here you can see that the power is 0 0.6 and here also it is 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 the alpha plus beta will be equals to 1.2 here you can see that the alpha plus beta is equal to 1.2 and also we can select any elasticity like 0 0.8 and 0 0.4 through different powers we can determine the increasing or decreasing returns so here we have to assume that the elasticity for labor and capital is 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 so Q is equal to 5 2.93 after solving it we are getting the output that is 43 units so if we double the input now we are taking the input of the labor and capital that is 12 units and initially we have taken the input of labor and capital that is 6 units we have doubled the input so the output has been increased to 100 so it means by doubling the input we have got the output more than double so we can say that by doubling the input we get the output more than double that is from 43 to units to 100 units so this is increasing returns to scale now we are also solving this problem through taking the different elasticity for the labor and capital because the alpha and beta is equal to 1.2 previously we solved that by taking the elasticity 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 now we are taking the different elasticity for the same problem so we can take any input combination suppose here we take amount of input 6 for labor and capital inputs by plugging the value of capital and labor 6 units in the equation production function will be like this you should note here that elasticity has been changed we have arranged the elasticity like 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 that becomes 1.2 alpha plus beta is equal to 1.2 but we have given the power that is 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 that is also equals to 1.2 the now we are going to see that what would be the change in result or whether the results are same so now you can see that here that the quantity is 43 the same units we have obtained by doubling the input initially we have taken the input that is 6 units now we have increased the input double by plugging the value of to toil labor and capital units we have got this production function and after solving this we get the output that is 100 the same unit that we have got already by taking the 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 power of the labor and capital but here we have seen that after changing the elasticity of the labor and capital the result is the same so now we can say that by doubling the input we get the output more than double that is from 43 units to 100 units so this is also an increase in returns to scale we are taking another production function that is q is equal to k over l well, suppose here we are taking amount of input capital and labor that is 3 units so by taking the 3 units of labor and capital and after plugging the value of 3 in labor and capital so the quantity the output is 1 unit by doubling the input the, in the original function q is equal to k over l so that we have increased the input that is from 3 to 6 unit so after solving it we get the output that is also 1 it means that after doubling the input we have not got the doubled input but less than double it means by doubling the input we get the output less than double so this is diminishing return starts and other production function that is q output is equal to minimum m i n represent minimum 2 l 3 k this is very important please note here that we can take any input combination for labor and capital suppose here we are taking amount of input k and l as two units by plugging the value of capital and labor 2 in the equation we have got this production function that 2 into 2 4 3 into 2 that is 6 so which is the minimum 
output the minimum output is 4. So, we are taking this 4 initially input because our production function is telling that minimum. So, 4 is taken because it is minimum how because 2 into 2 the 4 units while 3 into is 6 units. So, which output we should determine? So, here we have to determine the minimum output that is 4. Here minimum amount of Q naught output is 4 units uh, by doubling the input it means that the input of the labor and capital has been doubled from 2 to 4. So, by plugging those values we have got the Q 1 minimum the new original fu new function production function minimum is equal to 8 or 12. So, the minimum is 8 units. So, minimum is this is the minimum 8 is minimum here. So, we are taking the output that is 8 q 1 is minimum output now we have got 8 it means. So, by doubling the input we get the output doubled. So, this is constant returns to scale. I hope that you have clear idea to determine the production function whether increasing, decreasing or constant return. So, you can solve any problem by doing this method. It will be helpful for you for your exam because people are confused by solving this problem. So, this is good for you. Thank you for watching.